Hi everyone, it's Daria again and today we are going to talk about public transfer system. My husband and I decided to make this video for you, but unfortunately when we did it outside uh, near one of our railway stations in Moscow, we forgot to turn on the microphone, that's why I'm going to make this video and combine different shots from uh, my flat and some uh, shots from my uh, railway station. So, let's start! So, one of the most popular kind of uh, public transport is uh, suburban trains. I personally use it uh, every day because I live uh, not far from one of uh, stations of uh, suburban trains and it takes me only uh, 20 minutes to get to the center of Moscow to Belaruski railway station. So, I think it's very, very convenient. You should know that uh, there are nine railway stations in Moscow that allow people get to their job every day because uh, usually apartments in Moscow are very expensive but most of companies are situated in Moscow that's why a lot of people from Moscow region uh, every day use uh, suburban train to get to their work and it, it's an interesting fact that more than two million people every day use suburban trains uh, to get to their job. Quality of the trains is very different. So you can find uh, standard plus uh, trains uh, where there is air conditioning, for example, and uh, very comfortable seats. But on the other hand, you can meet very old trains with uh, wooden seats and without any heating. That's why it's very cold there in winter. So the price of the tickets uh, depends on uh, area where your station is situated. For example, if you decide to use a suburban train only inside Moscow area, it will cost you only uh, 36 rubles per trip and it's something about 50 cents, so it's very cheap. You can buy tickets uh, one way, two ways, or season ticket, for example, for one day or two days, or for example, 60 trips. And it's very important to understand that you can't buy tickets, for example, for 60 trips uh, and come out from the train whenever you want. When you are buying your ticket, you should uh, tell a uh, woman in ticket office, uh, for example, uh, your departure station, your arrival station, and it uh, can be used only between with, uh, these stations. I will show you in the video how you can uh, buy it and uh, how you can uh, go inside the station and how you can uh, go out of the station. So, if you would like to buy tickets for a suburban train, you can uh, use ticket office. Here it is. Suburban train tickets. Yeah, but uh, most uh, uh, women who work there, they don't speak English, so you can use special machines where you can buy tickets by yourself. So you can be, uh, choose English version and you can buy single trip and return trip. Today we are going to visit another station, so we uh, buy return trip. Uh, we are standing on the station Seattle, so we need to uh, choose only arrival station. We need free. Uh, and uh, so uh, we can uh, use uh, today, valid today or other day. We need uh, to buy tickets for today, that's why we uh, choose today. Uh, we can also uh, choose amount of tickets. For example, we need two tickets. So uh, we need two tickets and we push purchase. After that, we can uh, pay by card or uh, pay by cash. So we uh, put card in this way uh, or pu uh, push uh, uh, cash in this way. 
And be careful that if you have a big uh, amount of money, something like uh, 1,000 travels, this machine can give you change in coins. So uh, I recommend to use a uh, bank card. Exit. It's important to know that you should buy tickets for each person, uh, so it is not the same situation as we have with Metro, where you can buy tickets for all your family, for example, for six trips. Now, and also you can use the card Troika. Here it is. Dina? Normal? Uh, here it is. It's something uh, like uh, univer uh, universal uh, transport card when you can put money and use it uh, either for metro or uh, for urban stations. But uh, if you'd like to use it for sub suburban uh, trains, uh, you should program it uh, in the ticket office. It's an interesting information for you. Since November in Moscow, a new system of suburban trains is opening. It calls Moscow Central Diameters and it will connect two parts of Moscow region. And also, it's really great that you can use your car Troika and you just pay for the tickets for suburban train and then you can make a change on metro station and you won't uh, spend any uh, money for tickets for metro. So it's really great, I think, because uh, right now, if you would like to uh, visit uh, a suburban train and then travel by metro, you should buy two tickets for metro and for uh, suburban train. So it will be much cheaper for Moscow citizens and it's really great, I think. Price for the tickets for Moscow Central Diameters will depend on the area which your station is situated. I will show you right now on their website how you can understand on which area is your city situated, for example, if you decided to visit some city in Moscow region. So here, it, uh, here is a uh, website of Moscow Central Diameters. Unfortunately, it's only in Russian and actually I didn't find English version, but I'm sure that uh, Google will allow you to change the language, but unfortunately I can translate only in Russian here. So uh, here we can see um, scheme of Moscow Central Diameters and we can see it here is diameter number one and diameter number two and this part from for example this from to this all the stations are situated in moscow 
but if you decided to visit another stations like Odinsova or Lomnia, it will cost you a little bit more expensive than 30, uh, 38 rubles. For example, I decided to visit uh, to travel from Seatun. This is a arrival station. Seatun. Yeah, here it is. And arrival station will be Lobnia, for example. Oops, yeah. So it will cost for me uh, 35 rubles instead of 161 rubble. It will be 19 stations, and here is a rule that you should put your car troika on special machine at the entrance and in the exit and in that uh, situation it will be only 45 rubles for you so if you decided to visit suburban train and you want to travel by it uh, i will show you right now on um, yandex maps uh, how you can find a station near your hotel or your apartment for example but uh, let it be clear that if you decided to uh, book a room in a hotel on the red square there won't uh, be any uh, suburban train stations because there are no railway station in the center of moscow so if you want to know is there any station of suburban train system near your house you can use some kinds of maps in my case i use uh, yandex maps but you can use google maps for example and for example i live somewhere here and i can see that near my house is a station of suburban trains system and it's uh, it's written here that it's part of diameters number one and it's very convenient that I can see that next station will be this one and so on. And here is, for example, metro station. But unfortunately, they don't have any stops of uh, suburban trains right now. But here, for example, Kunsovske. Here you can see metro station Kunsovske, which is close to railway station of suburban train and the same station is with Thilim and so on that's why it's very convenient to use suburban trains for traveling around the city maybe if you live somewhere here or here and you don't have any uh, uh, metro station <laughs> but it's not really a good example because there are a lot of stations <laughs> but for example i live here and I don't have any uh, metro stations uh, near my house but I do have a railway station of suburban trains and it's, uh, it's really cool for me because I spent only 20 minutes to get to my job. To sum up, if you decided to travel around Moscow by train and for you it's not enough to visit only metro and you would like to travel around Moscow on outside, I highly recommend you not to use suburban trains uh, and uh, I recommend you to visit MCK and Moscow Central Ring uh, which is uh, situated only in Moscow and it's a circle that's why you don't have any opportunity to go outside of Moscow but if you decided to visit some uh, cities in Moscow region because there are a lot of beautiful cities around Moscow like uh, like Adinsova, Serpukhov and so on and if you want uh, to visit them suburban trains is a great opportunity and if you speak Russian you can use Yandex Trains app I will uh, leave a link in the uh, description of this video but uh, if you don't speak Russian you can use um, an app uh, produced by Central uh, Produced by Central, produced by Central, 
ex urban passenger central ex urban passenger company which owns uh, all the tr suburban trains in moscow and they have an app in english uh, where you can uh, find timetable uh, for all suburban trains and uh, also recommend you to count the amount of uh, stops that you will have uh, because most of uh, trains they don't have any table where uh, next stop is written that's why uh, usually a man who drives the train uh, he announced these uh, stops by russian that's why first of all try to listen how your stop sounds in russian but if it's impossible for you i recommend you to count the stops that you will have before your station and it will help you not uh, go far away from moscow here is the website of Central Exurban Passenger Company, which owns all the trains, suburban trains in Moscow. Luckily, we have switch. We can switch here to English, and here it is. It's very, it's very cool website, I think. And what we, what we have here, the name of the company mobile app which is useful for you, which can be useful for you is if you want to know timetable uh, and so on here we have timetable and tariffs uh, and we can write here name all the stations what we where we would like to travel for example And we can choose the date here it is here is the timetable amount of money that you should pay for the ticket and here you can see options that you will have in these trains for example, I think that it will be Ivolga uh, train and you have here Wi-Fi, air conditioning and uh, the sea and so on. In some trains, I think the older train, uh, the older, yes, the older train and they don't have any air conditioning. So it's, your, it's up to you which uh, train you will uh, choose, but if you you see that it's only for example for my trip with i chosen it's only 32 minutes and uh, i don't think that it's important uh, to have for example vc for such a short trip to sum up i would like to tell you that i'm a really great fan of suburban trains because uh, there are not so many people as in metro and uh, you can enjoy views outside out of the window and it's much faster as metro sometimes it can be not really comfortable and um, people in uh, suburban trains are not very polite sometimes especially in the morning <laughs> and for me it's one of the best way to get to my job that's it for today subscribe my channel in the next video i will talk about moscow central ring about metro and a lot of different interesting things about my beautiful city thank you for your attention i really appreciate this i'm not saying goodbye